Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see how to use your CAD drawings and Photoshop to create this incredible detailed master plan. You can use all the techniques in today's video on your drawings to use for your presentations. And I would really appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button, share and subscribe so I can create more videos like this one. Now there's a lot of great techniques in this video, so let's get started. First, let's prepare a few things before starting the render. So to make your life easier, what I suggest you should do is to pick out all of the textures you would need, like flooring, materials, grass, and anything else from Google as seamless textures. Then we are going to open the image in Photoshop, go to edit and define pattern. Once you finish with all your textures, you'll have a library of textures in your Photoshop. So if I select this area and then go to the pattern, you can see my current library. I will choose grass and then you have a grass texture and you can even change its scale or opacity and do that to all of your materials and let's get started now on the master plan. First thing you need to do after you open your AutoCAD PDF export is to add a white background under it. I also took an image from Pinterest for inspiration, color palette and style as I've never really rendered a master plan before. Let's select the buildings and add a color overlay from here with a similar color to the image. I will be adding a drop shadow and then to do that to all the buildings knowing that the more floors it has the longer the shadow will be. But we will come back to the buildings later to add more depth to them. I'm going to select all of the green spaces with the magic wand tool and then apply the pattern overlay with grass texture. Also add in a color overlay to all of the canals and color picking the blue from the image. I'm checking my inspiration image and the grass is warmer than the one I've chosen. So I'll choose another grass texture that I have from my library and then I'll add a warm green color overlay with a lower opacity. Then let's add the color and material to the roads and this is the only car road I have on site so I'm going to select it with the color pickle Feel free to laugh at my confusion as I've only just realized my parking spaces are not really aligned I thought I could just leave it but then there is no pedestrian path on its side so I'll have to select the parking spaces again and all of the pedestrian paths, add in a color overlay and then the pattern.
Doing the same thing for the private paths, however, I didn't have a pattern for it and I was too lazy. So instead, I just used the grid pattern, lowered its opacity and then added a light color, light gray overlay. I think you got the hang of adding materials, so let's skip this a bit, otherwise we'll be here all day. After you finished adding materials, your master plan should look absolutely amazing. Right. And then we're going to go back to the buildings and add stroke to give it some line weight. I don't know about you, but I hate doing line weights on CAD. They never show up clear. Same as the shadows, the higher the building, the thicker the stroke. But start with a small pixel and then work your way up as you don't want your stroke to be too thick at the end. I also have a few glass features, so I will color those with a light blue color overlay. And now let's play around with the materials on the public square here in the middle. So around the chances building, the material is the same, it's only a little darker to give emphasis to the chances building. I'm also going to add the roof material only on the chances building using a pattern overlay. And you would normally have to use a texture because the different slopes of the room because it's pitched. It means that you'll need same material but different angle. However, since my scale was quite small and my patience is running thin, I decided to leave it and just use the pattern overlay. I'm also going to add a stroke and drop shadow to the layer and then bring it to the top. Now I'm adding the timber finish on all the benches and this one is on a separate layer and not with the floor finish because I will need to add a drop shadow for the benches. I also have this vista that leads to the reopened train station so I will add a slightly darker grey color tiles and tile pattern overlay. Going back to the building shadow now, on a new layer, I'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool to select the shadows from the building to the floor. Doing the drop shadow first, it kind of helps you with the distances and making the angles consistent throughout your master plan. Now let's select all the buildings and the contacts and add a light color overlay as well as a drop shadow. I didn't go too much into detail to leave the focus on my site and my project. I'm also going to work on the grass a bit, so to add some variations to the grass and so it doesn't look so flat, I've added a flower field pattern overlay. And then I started to hide it a little bit with the grass brush. You can skip this step if you're short on time. A 
at this point the file was really huge since I was working on an A0 size with all of the layers plus recording. So a tip for you is I saved the master plan as an image but I first had to make sure that I was happy with it and I wasn't going to make any changes. I saved it as an image and then opened that one in a new Photoshop file. That way it is quicker to add the trees and the final touches. For the trees I took these off Google, they weren't PNGs but I didn't mind. And I'm going to adjust the levels to my likings and then scatter them along my green belt. And then for the vista leading the chances and for the piazza, I've used the same tree but then changed its color using hues and saturation adjustment layer. So you can have different types of trees or different colors of trees for different areas or to give emphasis on different things in your design. I've then added more trees around the site and different trees on the private paths. I've also added a pattern overlay over the buildings to resemble green roofs. then added shadows over the highest buildings because those have a hyperbolic roof. You can then add people and cars if you'd like and then as a final touch, control shift Alt and E to merge all of the layers and then go to camera raw filter and then change the settings to your liking. And that is how the master plan is looking after I finished. I'm really happy with it and I'm so proud. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it progress. If you want me to explain how I designed it then please give this video a like and comment down below if you want to see my philosophy behind it. I'm Rasha Shiruru and I'll see you next time.